Hey everyone, this is Quinn from Quinn Ann ASMR, and I want to thank you for checking out my demo track. This is all my fault. It is. It is. Because I'm the bodyguard. I take the hits and I keep moving. And if I die, so what? I'm prepared for that. I've come to terms with it. You don't get to die. No, you fucking don't. If you die, you can't die. Because I won't allow it. Because I love you, damn it. I've lost clients before. It happens when you've been on the job as long as me. But when that knife came towards you, my heart, my heart broke. I was scared. I've never been scared like that before. Oh, so she sent you to check up on me, huh? Well, if she was sending you to see if I was freaking out, then you can go tell her that this is just another day for me. Wait, no, 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 that, that sounded terrible. What I meant was I, that... Okay, fine. I'm a bit nervous. Not about marrying her, of course. I mean, that I am so ready for. I'm just nervous about this whole day overall. I want it to be perfect for her. But I'll be fine. Now, get out of here and make sure she's ready. And now we're both crying. God. Well, at least these are happy tears. Tears of joy, of love. I'm so ready to start this new chapter with her. Well, love, it's official. We've had the ceremony. We've signed the marriage license. You're stuck with me now. <laughs> okay, true. You still technically have a few days to back out. You know, you gotta do the legal work of filing the marriage license next. Oh, don't worry. I'll make sure I do that before you change your mind. <laughs> Good. You're awake. Now, please... Shit, shit! You hold her legs down. If she knocks that tourniquet off before we can fix her legs, she'll bleed out. Sweetheart, sweetheart, it's okay. You're okay. We're not here to do anything but fix you. Hey, hey, calm down. Calm down. I, I know. I know you're probably really scared right now. I know. I'm the enemy. We're on opposite sides of the war, but um, I'm not a soldier. I'm a medic. You're someone that needs help, and I'm going to help you. That's all there is to it. Do you understand me? What have happened? We both know what would have happened. I, I can't risk this. I can't risk losing you. You might not think you're worth it, but I promise you, you are. You are everything to me. So whether you want me to or not, I am getting you help. And you can be as mad as you want at me. You can yell and scream and do whatever you need to. But I, I'm not risking losing you. What are they doing in here? Soldier? No. You get the fuck back. I don't care if she's on the other side of the war. 
Your gun-toting ass isn't taking her anywhere. She's a civilian, and you have no reason to take her. Hey, it's okay, sweetheart. What the young soldier forgets is that the military has no jurisdiction the moment they step foot into this hospital. He will not be taking you anywhere. Perhaps you didn't know that, soldier, but you do now. You have no power here. She is under my care, and I decide when she is medically cleared for discharge. And, additionally, I am not going to discharge her to any of you. Why? She's a civilian, not a soldier. Even outside of these walls, you don't have jurisdiction over her.